Welcome back to the third video in this series discussing the builders here at the beach and giving you an unfiltered look at the pros and cons of what they do well and not so well. Uh, in the last video, we brought you Ryan Holmes, and today we're going to discuss their sister company, Envy Homes. For those of you just tuning into my content for the first time, I'm Matt London, and I'm a real estate agent here in Coastal Delaware, and I put out content each and every week discussing Delaware and Coastal Delaware real estate. If that's something you'd like to see some more of, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below. And if you or someone you know is looking to buy or sell real estate here in Delaware, I would love the opportunity to work with you, so don't hesitate to reach out. Ryan Holmes and Envy Holmes are both part of the same parent company, NVR. As we mentioned previously, Ryan Holmes is their more cost-effective brand and Envy Holmes is their more luxury brand. So let's take a look under the hood of Envy Homes and discuss some of what they do well and some of what they struggle with. Kicking off with what Envy Homes is strong at, their designs are beautiful. They definitely embrace being more of the luxury brand and it shines through in their architecture and designs. The aesthetics of their homes is really pleasing to the eye and they do a nice job with the front elevations to give you that curb appeal that you're looking for and give their neighborhoods a high-end feel. Uh, the second thing they do really well and you know part of being that luxury brand is they use higher quality materials and higher end finishes in their homes. Again, being that luxury brand, they need to create that luxury feel. So you can't be selling luxury and you know putting in some cheap stuff. So they definitely embrace that and they definitely put in higher end materials in their homes uh, than they use in the, in the Ryan homes. And they do a nice job with all the finishes and selecting things and helping you select things that'll fit well in the home. Uh, again, they're all pretty high quality. The third thing that Envy does really well is the land selection. So I guess this is more of like their corporate team, um, but their communities are typically in very desirable areas. Uh, so they've got two communities here in Rehoboth, which are just a few minutes to the downtown area. And again, they're just in very desirable locations. So they really think that through when deciding if Envy Homes or Ryan Homes is gonna be building on somewhere, you know, what the land selection is gonna be like, what the cost of that land is, and would a luxury brand fit into that area. And they've done a really nice job with that here at the beaches. Again, you know, nobody does everything perfect. So let's take a look at some of the cons of Envy Homes and just see what, you know, that they can maybe improve on. Uh, the first one, and this is just based on my experience, but kind of in line with what we figured out with Ryan Homes is that there's more issues typically than other builders at the same price point. So being a luxury brand, uh, you know, when you pay for a high-end home, you expect high-end and you don't expect a lot of mistakes. I've just seen that sometimes there's mistakes with the homes. Again, they fix them every time. So don't get this like a, a bashing Envy Homes thing. That's not the case by any means. Um, again, it just makes the customer feel a little weary uh, if they get a home inspection and there's a bunch of issues listed in there, um, again, they fix them every time, but it just leaves a little bit uneasy feeling with the customer at times. Uh, the second con that we can look at is the lot sizes for the size home typically doesn't equate well. So you've got a large home on a not so large lot. So a lot of times the, the home takes up a lot of the land that you own. Uh, again, this is, they're building, you know, the same thing that we had with Shell Brothers, they're building within the county code and within the city code. Um, but that code allows for the home to take up a lot of the land. So if you're someone that wants a big backyard or anything like that, you know, new construction honestly may not be the best for you because most new construction is built this way. Uh, but it really shines with Envy Homes because they're building larger homes. So the larger home on the smaller lot, it just, you know, it just feels like it's a little bit cramped. Um, again, it's not the end of the world. You know, plenty of people are fine with it. But if you're someone that wants a huge backyard or huge piece of land, you know, new construction in general just may not be for you. Number three on the list of cons is that the reviews online speak of some foundation issues. Uh, here at the beaches, if you're in one of the coastal towns and you've got a basement, more than likely at some point you may see some water in that basement. Uh, concrete cracks over time, so you may end up with a small puddle on the ground. I've never seen anybody uh, with a new home that's you know up to this, the rafters with water. Uh, more than likely what happens is you get a little hairline crack in the concrete, a little bit of water will seep through in a heavy rain, and you'll end up with some you know a small puddle on the ground. It's fixable, it's not crazy to fix. A uh, concrete company can come in and fix it pretty quickly, but the reviews online for NV Homes do seem to make it sound like that happens frequently in their communities. I've not sold an NV home where it has been an issue, so I can't directly speak to it, but if you look online, you do see that be a common occurrence amongst the reviews. That's gonna do it for today's video on NV Homes. If you enjoyed the content today, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell next to it so you can stay in the loop each week when we go live with new content. 
And then again, if you or someone you know is looking to buy or sell real estate here in Delaware, I would love the opportunity to work with you. So please do not hesitate to reach out so we can put together a plan and make it happen for you. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Peace.